ready first. So does anyone have any idea what does this chart planning mean? Anyone? This chart planning. Yeah, Sharifa? So this chart planning is a plan that is arranged by the nurse or any medical uh, you know, for, for performers so that the patient would uh, go back home safely. Go back home safely. Good. Great job. Yeah. Anyone else want to add or uh, add some comments or anything that you know about this chart planning? So go lead. Let's Okay. Uh, so I think the discipline is uh, uh, when nurse gives some um, like leaflet or poster uh, to the patient uh, that includes um, uh, how to uh, how to make them sex in the home or some or something like the rules or the in no, the rules of the medicine the rules of the medicine yeah. so it's related to medication yeah. so that's your point yeah that's a good point to three when oral administration is not possible sometimes the patient condition makes it impossible to swallow the drug orally. So parenteral administration becomes the main option for handling emergency. Parenteral, parenteral administration can be the first choice in emergency where, I, uh, where a quick reaction of the drug is needed. Uh, five is of administration. Sometimes parenteral administration of drugs is more par uh, practical or easier to perform than other methods. Especially in certain situations, such as when the patient is unconscious or uncooperative. And next, uh, so my testimony is uh, after being in this class for approximately two months, uh, I have mixed feeling about this uh, in this class. Uh, like in other side, uh, I I feel happy because I can practice my English skills. And in the other hand, I feel a little bit. Trouble because uh, there is uh, language barriers about uh, between us, so we can uh, communi communicate uh, effectively. So there is. Okay, um, thank you, Zidane. Yeah. About the importance of communication, because you will be your, uh, with your patient, and also the communication is important to achieve the uh, good outcome uh, of nursing care. And communication also is important uh, in all activities that you do with your patient, not only in the hospital, but also in the community. And if you use communication in all activities with the, your patient, uh, such as in uh, prevention, and then also in the treatment, uh, in the hospital, and also in the community, and also when you will do have a communication. Well, he is at the end of the